I'm John Riley from the White House Historical Association. Only one president has not lived in the White House, and that's the president that probably has more to do with its structure and construction than any other, and that's George Washington, who selected the architect, picked the very spot where the White House was to be built, and set the stake himself, Washington being a surveyor when he was younger, a uh, younger man. So everybody since John Adams moved in in 1800 has lived in the White House. There were some times that presidents had to move out of the White House temporarily. The White House was burned by the British in 1814, so the Madisons had to move out while it was being rebuilt. And in fact, they never moved back in because it took so long to rebuild. Uh, there were times when there were construction projects. Uh, Teddy Roosevelt's family had to move out temporarily because there was a lot of work to be done and they added the east and west wings at that time. And then Truman, Harry Truman in the 19, late 1940s and early 1950s actually moved out for several years because the White House at that time was 150 years old. Uh, it was quite old. The, the, the frame members, the wooden members all were starting to crumble and so much work had to be done that they had to leave for several years and it was rebuilt. He moved back in the 1952.